Hello guys and welcome to Bike and Birds Pit Stop where we review motorcycle and motovlogging essentials. Today we're going to be reviewing pretty much the most important part to motorcycle riding, a helmet. This particular helmet is the AGV AX8 Evo Naked. Now one thing to note in these reviews, I don't just pull these things out of the box and tell you what I like about them. I have done that type of review on this helmet, but this is my after 500 miles or so, uh, after I've gotten a really good understanding of how the equipment works and have been able to see some pros and cons of actually going out and using the equipment. A lot of my pros from my original list have stayed the same, but I'll go ahead and go over those again. I love the way this thing looks. I've gotten tons of compliments on it. Now I will note that these graphics are not not part of the actual helmet. It comes in a solid black. Uh, they also make a carbon fiber version, which costs about a hundred or so dollars more, but doesn't really weigh that much lighter. So not worth it in my opinion. I will also note that this tented visor here is also aftermarket. I'll also throw a link to that down in the description. But even without the graphics, this is still a very good looking helmet. The flat black, I'm a huge fan of. The dark tented visor, it just gives it that kind of jet fighter look. I keep this up by my desk at work and everyone that walks by ask if it's a fighter pilot helmet. Another huge pro on this helmet is the vent. This vent up front lets up a lets in a huge amount of air as well as these top vents up top. These top vents up top will actually link through and shoot the air out the back and you can kind of feel that rotation of cool air in the helmet as you ride. One thing I didn't notice about this helmet on the first review is there's actually vents up inside this windscreen right here right before the top seal. I'm not too sure where they go. I haven't been able to find if they're if they're channeled like the ones up top are, but uh, just another benefit of having some more uh, vents up top. One thing that I put down as a con at first and has eventually turned out to a pro would be this chin strap. It's got a nice thick soft soft uh, chin strap. The reason I listed it as a con at first is I didn't like how this would get turned over like that. But once you put it on a few times, you kind of get the hang of it, of how to get it lined up and uh, arranged to where it kind of makes just a nice seal around the bottom of your chin. Turns out to be very beneficial on longer rides. Another huge pro on this uh, helmet that hasn't changed is the price point. I believe these are around $350, which uh, for a helmet that weighs only about just over three pounds, absolutely amazing in my opinion. This is definitely one of your better mid-range helmets that I've seen, but with it being a mid-range helmet, it does have some pretty large cons that might sway you to look elsewhere. This nose guard, in the first video I was complaining about how it comes off very easy, and it still does, but uh, I've kind of learned where you can and cannot grab it to kind of avoid those situations. Pretty much anything from here down is safe to grab, and uh, you avoid that uh, popping off every now and then. The chin skirt, as you can see, I've taken the chin skirt off. I complained about that in the first video, and after realizing it that that was the cause of the whistle sound, I went ahead and ripped it off. Uh, with the way it comes in, pretty much any speeds over 45 miles an hour, you're gonna get a really high-pitched, annoying whistle right in here, right in, right in front of your face. Once I noticed that that was where the sound was coming from, I went ahead and ripped that off, and I really haven't had any complaints after that. You do get more air up front, so if you're riding in the winter, that might be a pretty big con, but here in the summer in Texas, that extra wind up front actually helped. And as far as moto vlogging goes, as long as you have your windscreen done properly, it doesn't affect it that much at all. Definitely better than that high pitch whistle I was getting. One con that I have found that I absolutely hate is Cena 20S. Now for those who aren't familiar what a Cena is, this is actually a Bluetooth communicator that can hook up to your phone, your GPS, it gives you directions over your uh, speakers inside your helmet. You can also plug headphones into it and it's also rider to rider Bluetooth communication. The reason I don't like this is two main reasons. One, this comes with a clamp to where you can clamp it on your uh, helmet shell not with this helmet. The helmet shell is way too thick and it doesn't allow for this to clamp on. So I had to use the double-sided tape. So far it's been all right. I can already tell it's starting to come loose. So I wish there was a better solution for that. But my main complaint, my biggest complaint on this helmet so far is most helmets made after a certain year, once these scenes have started becoming popular, have some cutouts around your ear in order for you to set those speakers into. This helmet does not have those pockets. So you kind of just have to put them on and just hope that your cushion has enough cushion in between. 
I have a wider head, so my ears are pretty pushed in there to begin with, and those speakers are not comfortable whatsoever. They are actually quite painful, especially after longer rides. But besides that, before I put the Cena headset in here, these cushions did break in quite a bit. I did say how they were pretty stiff in the first one. They do break up quite a bit, or not break up, but break in and become a lot more squishy and comfortable, as well as they don't stink as much as others do. Uh, I've had some other helmets that even after a few hundred miles after some long rides, you start sweating and it starts stinking. This doesn't have that issue. It's made with that antibacterial microbial science and it doesn't stink. Even after 500 miles or so, and that includes some very long two hour, three hour long rides in the hot Texas summer, no issues with that whatsoever. Well guys, if you want to pick up your own AGV AX8 Evo, I have left a link for this exact helmet and this exact visor down in the description, as well as every other thing that I use for riding. So please, if you have any questions or concerns or comments for the future episodes, please leave them down in the comment section below and I'll answer them as quickly as possible. I want to give a quick thank you for taking a pit stop with me and I'll see you guys on the next episode.